Hey guys, just a reminder, this is not official medical advice or such. Please seek an appointment with a licensed medical provider. Hi, this is Dr. Tom Rogers coming to you with a weekly podcast with what I call the Common Sense MD. Now, first of all, let me explain my outfit that I have on today if you're watching this. Number one, my shirt is a kind of a commemorative to Bill Walton, one of my favorite basketball players of all time. But he was also a great commentator, great human. But his big love was not basketball as much as bicycling. And that's why I have this hat on. My son Andy brought this to me from the Tour de France this year. So that's a bicycle hat, and that's a Bill Walton shirt. Um, did you ever wonder why these funny-looking French bicycle hats have the bill that points straight up? It's because when you ride a bike, it will not blow off your head like a regular hat would. So anyway, so you learned something. Hopefully you're going to learn more than that today, but I'm going to talk about something that um, I did a podcast on a few years ago called Quercetin. We all learned about Quercetin during COVID, how helpful it was um, during the pandemic. And really the way, it, the way it worked was it decreased that cytokine storm that really was the killer of COVID. Um, along with some other effective treatments that we learned to do for COVID. But that was one of the first things we did. Uh, and the previous podcast I did about this actually had more hits, more people listen to that than any podcast I've ever done. So I thought I'd talk about quercetin because there's a new form of quercetin that's even better. So we'll talk about quercetin a little bit. Um, Really, I rec I've always recommended quercetin as a supplement to prevent and treat respiratory illnesses that are so common. And the reason I'm talking about it, um, really because most quercetin is poorly absorbed by the GI tract. So they've got this new technology that enables it to be absorbed about 20 times more potently than, than regular quercetin. Um, it's a flavonoid. Now, remember what a flavonoid is? It's real, they're polyph polyphenol metabolites uh, found in plants and some fruits. Uh, really, they're the most colorful part of the fruit and vegetables. It's, this is the good stuff. The good part of vegetables, especially, are called flavonoids. Um, but you can also find them in, in things like teas of all kinds, even coffee, and, and some of the other substances. But... Um, but they have a range of other health benefits besides preventing and treating respiratory illnesses. Um, they're great antioxidants. They're great anti-inflammatories. Uh, they're great anti have great anti-cancer properties. Um, they also may lower your risk of heart attacks and strokes. I've been reading a lot about that lately. Um, they were one of the real reasons that many people recommend a plant-based diet, all these flavonoids in a plant-based diet. The problem with plant-based diets, which are fine, I'm, I'm all for them, but not many people like them because a lot of people like meat, including me. You know, you, animal protein is a lot easier to absorb than plant proteins. And also, you're going to have to take some vitamins, like especially the B vitamins if you're vegan or vegetarian. I'm certainly not against plant-based diets. I think they're good. Um, and on the other hand, I also like the carnivore diet for a lot of people with gut problems. So, um, but mainly I'm an omnivore. I eat both. Anyway, quercetin is perhaps the most studied and popular of all the flavonoids that you hear about. And it's one of the most beneficial. It helps regulate your immune system, which I think is a, its most important attribute. Uh, your immune system is so important to your overall health. This function of your immune system can cause about anything bad for your health. You know that. We deal with it every day. And remember, most of your immune system is located in your gut. So we always talk about gut. We start out with the gut. Make sure you have a healthy gut. A lot of times some of the other health benefits follow suit. Um, but anyway, today I want to focus on your respiratory system. You know, not only do we have another round of summer COVID going around, but Hay fever season is almost here, and winter is looming. That's when you see the more serious of the respiratory illnesses. Um, but think about allergies. Um, in this part of the country, it seems like almost everybody has allergies, and it's increasingly becoming more year-round. I have them, certainly. 
runny nose, itchy eyes, sneezing, rashes, etc. Um, there's some of the most common reasons people visit the doctor. Um, you need your immune system to fight off pathogens. But what happens a lot of the times is it overreacts. And this can make you miserable. That's what's happening with a lot of these illnesses. Um, and it kicks off a lot of these autoimmune diseases that we see. So that's why so many people take antihistamines. Um, and they can be useful. But there are more natural ways to get the, to the root cause of the problem and not just treat the symptoms. And that's what we're all about. Um, one of the things I've learned out of code was how helpful quercetin was for all these things. Um, it has a wide range of benefits for overall health, primarily mediated through their, its antioxidant properties and anti-inflammatory properties. That what we call cytokine modulation, immune modulation, uh, over and under. But like most flavonoids, they have relatively poor absorption in the GI tract. Those are my dogs. Um, causing limited bioavailability. Now, they have discovered a way to make it 20 times more bioavailable by complexing it with phospholipids. And they call it quercetin phytosol. These phospholipid complexes allow the quercetin to get to the respiratory system without being degraded. Like I said before, studies show when patients took quercetin phytosomes, their plasma levels are 20 times higher than patients who took regular quercetin. These patients experienced improved severity of symptoms, such as sneezing, runny nose, ocular itching. They even slept better. They had reduced blood levels of cytokine markers that we check for. Really, I kind of compare this to how dihydroberberine works way better than just berberine hydrochloride. Um, and I like combination supplements. I'm all about that. I put together a lot of my own supplements, as you know. Um, because you don't have to take so many pills, and they act synergistically with each other. Um, and for this, in this quercetin, what we call quercetin plus, they've added NAC in acetylcysteine, which increases your glutathione levels, which is important for your immune system, but also acts as a mucolytic agent. That's why it works so good for your respiratory system, among a bunch of other benefits. But anyway... They put nettle extract in it because it inhibits histamine, tryptase, which that one influences mast cell degranulation. Think MCAS. I did a podcast on that a few weeks ago. Mast cell activation syndrome. It's good for people with that. Um, it also may inhibit prostaglandins. Prostaglandins generate inflammatory responses along with COX-1 and COX-2, which are really precursors to prostaglandins. They're just higher on the chain, but they're involved heavily in inflammation. So they're very important. And again, you need your immune system to work, but in a lot of cases it overworks and causes all these autoimmune diseases and it makes you have miserable symptoms as well. Um, also, they put vitamin C in there because it's a critical antioxidant um, for the respiratory system. Vitamin C is so important for many things. We give we give it an IV form for a lot of different reasons. It's a great, great um, vitamin. So I like this new supplement combination, mostly because of the enhanced bioavailability of the quercetin in it. Um, because I have allergies just like just like most people around around here. Um, I tend to be overreactive on my immune system. So it's really helped me. Um, I have way less itchy eyes. That's the first thing I noticed when I started taking this was my eyes itched way less. And that, that's miserable to have itchy eyes. I had less nasal congestion. And I feel it really helps my overall immunity. Um, plus, it's really inexpensive. So try the new, what we call Quercetin Max. I take it every day because I tend to have year-round allergies, especially if you're if you have hay fever or pollen problems in the spring, you can certainly take it year round. It has a lot of other benefits, but you might want to consider it, especially during uh, allergy season or when you are starting to get sick with something. So I hope this helps. I hope this talk about quercetin helps. I hope you like the funny hat. 
Um, I'll see you guys next week.